and so. everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Daisy for those who don't know me and those who are returning thank you so much for your support I ask you that if you find this video fun entertaining give me a thumbs up click that notification bell and don't leave today without subscribing to my channel thank you so much you guys I'm so excited to do this video as you know if you watched my last video and if you didn't I'll link it right here for you I am so grateful to God that I'm able to obtain all three canvases in the Neverfull MM, which are sitting right here. And today we're gonna do a small comparison of the canvases. And I'm gonna tell you which one do I prefer, which one is my favorite, and how do I use these bags. So if you find this uh, entertaining or in any way educational, then keep on watching. As I said, I was able to obtain all three canvases of the Neverfull MM. And I am so proud of myself for being able to do this and grateful to God first for providing so I can get all three canvases of this beautiful, iconic bag. So let me start by saying that this is the most sold bag of Louis Vuitton. I was reading up on this bag and this is a very loved and a very hated bag as well as a very sought after and a bag that a lot of people just say, you know what, I'm not going to get it because everybody has a never full. Well, my opinion and my opinion only, I think this bag is to wear on an everyday basis. I think this is such a workhorse bag that I use each and every one of these for work. And also I think that this is a very practical bag for a mother, a, a, you know, a new mother to wear or mother period to wear as a diaper bag. So in my opinion, this bag is very iconic, very practical and also very beautiful to look at and each and every canvas is a beautiful beautiful canvas and i think that being these bag that is so sought after and it's for a reason a lot of women you know look for this bag and there's a reason for that i mean this bag is beautiful practical and everything i said before and I think that's the reason why that a lot of people have it. I don't mind that if I'm walking down the street and all of a sudden I see three of them. I don't mind that at all. I know that the reason why a lot of women have this bag. So enough rambling about that. And let's do a little bit of comparison of these bags with the colors and whatnot because there's not a lot to compare. They're identical, identical in every way. Um, the only thing that really changes is the canvas itself and a, a little thing here and there. And let's talk about those little differences, okay? So let's start with the Neverfull MM in the Damier Abin canvas with the pink ballerine interior. This bag is beautiful. Beautiful combination of that milk chocolate and peanut butter or maybe peanut butter and dark chocolate um, color with the pink. I think this is such a beautiful color combination or colorway. I think that pink is gorgeous to look at. And of course, I'm being a little biased because my favorite color is pink, as you all know. Oh, if you didn't, well, there you go. My favorite color is pink. And I think that pink interior is everything, everything and more. <laughs> so as you see, this is like a, a, a hole, <laughs> a bag that does not have too much closure. If you didn't know, this has just this closure right here, which is a lobster clasp where you clasp uh, the D-ring with the lobster clasp. And that's the only closing 
you have. Now I do have a trick, which I will insert right here, a little trick that I do to close up these bags just a little more and make them a little safer. So these bags are tote type of bags. These are the measurements right here, right here, and right here. They all three measure exactly the same. So this Damier Eben was my second one that I purchased and I really, really love this bag. I think um, it goes very well with everything you wear because of this brown color. Oh. You can match it up with most of everything in your wardrobe. This one is the one that is worry-free that if it gets rained on, if it gets, uh, uh, I don't know, snow on or whatever the case may be. It's easy to wipe off because of the Vachetta. Hey. Leather is a brown chocolate leather and it's a treated leather. Okay, so this is, I guess, a coating that they put on top. So the Vachetta is already protected from all of the environment and the water and whatnot. Okay, so this is a very easy bag. Usually people say that they love to wear this in the fall and winter. Well, I wear it all year round. I wear my bags all year round. It doesn't matter what color they are and what they look like. I am a person and that my bags are gonna be rotated and are gonna be used. And now that I have three of them, definitely gonna be rotating them, you know, every time I want to or whatever the case may be. But I'm not afraid of wearing this in the summer. I think it's beautiful in the summer. I think it's beautiful in the spring as well, especially with that pink interior. I think it's so, so beautiful. This colorway comes also with the red interior, which is beautiful. But personally, of course, I would pick the pink. Like I said, this is more on the stiff side when it comes to the Vachetta. Um, at the beginning when I first got her that she was super stiff and she still kind of is um, I've worn her in pretty much and these uh, straps have become a little more softer and whatnot but I it never ever hurt me in my shoulders because uh, although I pack them a lot and I've known to pack them but when they're packed heavier I tend to grab her as a top handle and just put her by my legs so i don't tend to put it on my shoulder when it's um super heavy so yeah this is the damier ebin the beautiful beautiful damier ebin with our pink ballerine interior all right beautiful beautiful and these uh totes or uh neverfuls do not have blue feet underneath all right Let's put her right around here. And let's go to my first never full, my first luxury purchase, my first love. And I can tell you that is still one of my most loved and most used bags in my collection. As you see, the straps are so soft, incredibly soft. I uh, condition them, I clean them with uh, wipes every time I use her just to try and keep her, you know, not to get that super, super brownish color up here that it tends to get from the oils of your hands or hand sanitizer or lotion that you wear in your hands. But still, it still has... Um, gotten a little darker from all the rest of the patina process that has happened it is a little darker right here where i tend to grab her but other than that um this beautiful print or um canvas is in a cream color and the other squares are navy blue and i'm gonna tell you i've put this through the ringer i've used her thrown her in the back of the car thrown her in the back of my truck thrown her under the seat thrown her i mean this have been on vacation with me she has been to the beach with me she has been everywhere with me like this is a really real 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 workhorse this bag i love it i love it I love the, the how the patina yeah. looks. 
with the uh, cream color. I mean, I love her. I love her. And she is in excellent condition, although she has all these little, uh, I call them little dings on the vachetta. She has little like birthmarks or not birthmarks, but you know, just marks from the rain that I've been caught in the also, um, the vachetta like on the top has been, you know, like right here, all this trim has gotten really, really dirty. And right here, for example, she has something there that I will figure out. But um, yeah, I mean, right now, look at her. She's a little bit dirty. But what I do every time I put her away, I wipe her down with um, water wipes and I, you know, clean her up and whatnot. I take the vachetta, do the same, same thing. And inside she is quite dirty and it's because she's stained. But let me tell you about her. I've twice already in her lifespan, I've inverted her and washed her inside with soap, uh, uh, mild soap and I and she's come out really super clean but again I use her so there you know there's gonna be over here um, you know dirt and stains and everything else you know so, but again I'm gonna use my bags I'm gonna love my bags so yeah this is my beautiful Blanc girl that has been with me for quite some time and will continue to be with me because she ain't going nowhere and she won't be replaced as she's not going anywhere she is a beautiful girl all right gorgeous and then my latest addition to my collection this beautiful monogram canvas with the pavillon interior she is gorgeous that color when i look at it every time i open her and i look inside it makes me smile that color and this canvas is gorgeous 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 i mean i can tell you that i have the hmm, i have no preferences within the three canvases meaning that i i love every you know all three canvases but I do like, uh, I don't want to say like one more than the other, but I do prefer that if they would, uh, they would make more bags to make them in this print. I think this print, and maybe I'm being biased again because I live in Florida and I think it's so beautiful always out here, so sunny and bright that this one looks gorgeous when you're taking her outside. So I think that's the reason why, but I love me a, mono a monogram and I love Damier and Ben, but it's the uh, print that I least need to have in my collection if that makes sense again i love all three prints but this is the least that i want to have in my collection for some reason although it is the best one for weatherproof but these two yeah these two i can have several bags in this one and i can have a hundred thousand bags in that color if you understand what i mean i I think I prefer this print if I really, really think about it. But anyway, this one right here, like I said, has a beautiful, beautiful Pivion interior. And I mean, what what am I to say? This one was pre-loved. Um, she had already patinaed a little bit and she will continue to patina. Eventually she'll, you know, become this dark and eventually they both will become even darker. Um, I do disclaimer before I tell you this um, do this at your own risk I'm not telling you what to do but I do um, spray my bags with Apple Guard to protect them from the rain the vachettas and the reason why I do that I live in Florida and here we are walking on a bright and sunny day beautiful outside and all of a sudden there comes a big shower or 
you know, a, a rain, uh, little storm, you know what I mean? So I do uh, spray my vachettas so they don't become that stain or, you know, they can repel the water off. All of these bags, as we all know, come with these, um, with the little pochettes or wristlets. All right. And um, if you haven't watched that video where I altered some of these, I'll link it right here as well. But here we are with all three of them. And I also have um, the one from the, uh, the GM, which is in the monogram canvas and with the beige. So being so being that I altered the one from the GM and I altered this one, all right, and I could not alter this one because, and I explained in that video, because the little uh, gap between the zipper and the canvas was way too small and I didn't want to damage the zipper, so I didn't do it on this one. And I am positive that I can probably do it on this one, but I am not going to alter this one because I already have one, um, which is a monogram, altered, so I don't, I don't really want to alter this one. But yeah, these are very, very good pochettes and i've said this repeatedly before i love these pochettes i do not sell them they have the interior just the way that the bag is and these are pochettes that i seriously wear all the time so i'm not gonna sell these i'm not gonna give them away or none of that i wear them what i usually do is you know and if you notice, this one is a little deformed, and so is this one compared to this one that is fairly new. And the reason why it's a little <laughs> bented or deformed, or, you know, it's because I fill them. I fill them, they become deformed a little bit like this, you know, but because these are mine and I'm gonna keep them forever and ever and ever, so I don't mind, you know, that they are a little deformed because of me filling them up. But because again, here I throw in here my uh, a little wallet, I throw in here lip gloss, I throw in here my car keys, I ch and let's go. Let's go to the supermarket, let's go run an errand and whatever the case may be. And also I took this one and the other monogram one to my cruise and that was what i absolutely wore throughout the whole cruise i didn't even wear the bags that i took with me and so these bags i consider them iconic they are beautiful and like i said i am so grateful to god that i'm able to have all three prints so i can uh rotate my neverfuls for work because specifically i wear them for work because they can carry everything and the kitchen sink so yeah i'm gonna stop this video here and if you stood until the end i am very grateful and thankful for you and if you did enjoy this video or found it entertaining give me a thumbs up click that notification bell and don't leave today without subscribing to my channel as that will help my channel grow Thank you so much. God bless you and keep you until next time. Ciao. Te que bajes el sol. Me dice no pierdas tiempo. Es mmm.